Gary Balance led from the front for Yorkshire, scoring a ton in his first match as captain as the home side dominated on day one at Headingley. Yorkshire got off to a flying start as openers Alex Lees and Adam Lyde looked in fine form, scoring boundaries all around the ground, the pick of which was a glorious Lyde six off the bowling of Hampshire's Fidel Edwards. The West Indian responded spectacularly shortly afterwards, sending Lees off stump cartwheeling to get Hampshire's first wicket of the day. Lythe progressed, scoring a handful of boundaries before feathering the ball to wicketkeeper Lewis McManus, attempting to leave a delivery from Berg. He was dismissed for 30, which brought new captain Balance to the crease, and he joined new signing Australian international Peter Hanscom. Both batted steadily until lunch to take the score to 96 for two during the interval, with Hanscom 17 not out, Balance unbeaten on 24. Hanscom was bowled shortly after the break by Edwards, who was bowling with pace and plenty of aggression. Balance progressed well, but wickets kept falling at the other end for Yorkshire. Leaning was pinned LBW by Gareth Berg before Edwards took his third wicket, smashing Tim Bresnan's stumps with a searing Yorker. Carl Abbott then took his first wicket on his return to Hampshire, dismissing Andrew Hodd, courtesy of a catch from fellow South African Riley Rousseau. Despite the collapse of wickets around him, Balance moved on to a gritty half-century with a four off Berg. Abbott got through Azim Rafiq's defences and it was Stephen Patterson who then provided the skipper with the support he needed. Balance continued to take on Hampshire's attack and the Yorkshire captain brought up his much-needed century shortly before tea. So with the score at 231 for seven during the final interval, it was a good fight back from Yorkshire after Edwards and Abbott had torn through the middle order. After the break, Balance and Patterson brought up their 100 partnership. However, the skipper's fine innings came to an end in the 72nd over of the day when Liam Dawson dismissed him for 120. Josh Shaw and Ben Code fell in quick succession shortly after Brad Wheel taking the final wicket and Yorkshire's first innings was all over for 273. After the change of innings, the home side started well and got the early wicket they needed when Code dismissed Jimmy Adams LBW. James Vince came to the crease to join Michael Carberry, but he did not enjoy the run-scoring start to the season he would have wanted, hitting Code straight to Lees at mid-wicket. Carberry was then joined by the new recruit Rousseau, and the pair hit some lusty blows. However, it was Code again who broke the partnership, sending Carberry on his way for 22. The wicket of Irvine followed shortly after with Code taking his fourth wicket and before the end of the day's play, the paceman got his first five wicket haul in only his fourth first class game, trapping Rousseau LBW. He finished with figures of five for 18, ending an extraordinary final session whereby Hampshire are on 58 for five, leaving them with a huge task to salvage their position in this game already. A brilliant spell from South African Kyle Abbott has kept Hampshire in the game against Yorkshire at Headingley. A devastating spell from Ben Code late on day one meant that Hampshire started day two on 58 for five. Code continued to cause trouble early on day two, dismissing Kyle Abbott after an inside edge onto his pad found its way to Jack Leaning at third slip. Tim Bresnan then took two wickets in the 29th over, first trapping Liam Dawson LBW, and then dismissing Gareth Berg to leave Hampshire in a dire position, McManus joined Wheel at the crease and the pair set about salvaging Hampshire's innings, taking the score to 123 for 8 at the lunch break. The pair brought up their 50 partnership shortly after the break, narrowly avoiding the follow-on. However, Tim Bresnan then got the breakthrough, bowling Wheel for 18. The Yorkshireman then concluded a fine bowling performance with the wicket of Fidel Edwards. Edwards out for 6 and Hampshire all out for 141. Code and Bresnan then sharing all 10 Hampshire wickets between them, Code in particular impressing with the superb figures of 6 for 37. Yorkshire began their second innings 133 runs ahead, and Adam Lythe went out into the middle with clear intent, punishing Edwards early on. He put on 40 with Lees, but feathered a ball off Abbott to McManus to depart for 29. Five balls later, Abbott struck again, as new batsman Hanscom was caught in the slips for four. The South African bowler continued to put in a shift, and a few overs later he got his third wicket, trapping Lee's LBW for 21. First inning centurion balance then steadied the ship with some gorgeous stroke play, 
and with the support of Leaney, he took Yorkshire to tea on 106 for three, a lead of 238. After the final interval, the pair brought up their 50 partnership, but Kyle Abbott got the important breakthrough taking his fourth wicket, sending Leaning on his way for 15. Bresnan then came to the crease, but was soon heading back to the sheds, becoming the fifth victim of a rampant Kyle Abbott spell. At the other end, Captain Balance fought hard to ensure his side kept the upper hand in the game, and Horde assisted his skipper by delivering some lusty blows of his own. Balance brought up his half-century, but was dismissed shortly after, caught behind off Brad Wheel. Rafiq fell for just two a few overs later at the hands of Irvine. He had no support as Abbott tore through the tail, pitting Patterson LBW for two, and then bowling Shaw for a golden duck. Berg took the final wicket of the innings, dismissing Code for naught. Yorkshire all out for 187, with Hod unbeaten on 54. Abbott finishing with the outstanding figures of 7 for 41. Carberry and Adams successfully negotiated four overs before stumps, leaving Hampshire 10 without loss in their second innings, chasing another 310 for victory. That may be a tall order, but the visitors have been given a chance thanks to the magnificent performance of Abbott. Hampshire claimed a stunning win over Yorkshire on day three at Headingley. Carberry and Adams resumed on the morning of day three on 10 for no wicket, with Hampshire requiring 309 runs to win after Abbott's outstanding bowling performance on day two had kept the visitors in the match. Things could hardly have gone better for Hampshire in the morning session, as chances went begging for Yorkshire early on, the best of which saw an outside edge from Adams put down by Lythe at second slip off the bowling of Bresnan. Adams looked to capitalise, scoring steadily, whilst Carberry also played positively, hitting some wonderful pull shots. As the pair approached their 100 partnership, Carberry played one aggressive shot too many and was caught in the deep by Patterson for 41. Three balls later, Adams brought up his 50 with a fine cut shot. A new man, Vince, then got off the mark with a boundary as the two progressed the score past 100, Hampshire going to lunch on 103 for one. It was a steady start to the afternoon session for the visitors. Vince played some wonderful strokes, but Yorkshire bowled well. And when an Adams edge failed to carry to Bresnan at first slip, the fielding side began to grow frustrated. The hosts were rewarded though, as Rafiq struck with his first ball of his spell, dismissing Adams LBW for a fine knock of 72. Yorkshire began to edge their way back into the game, as Vince chipped a return catch to Code to fall for 44. Russo started to show some form as he found the boundary, but he lost partner Irvine when he edged a hod off Bresnan two overs before tea. Dawson joined Russo at the crease, and the game was evenly poised at the break, with Hampshire still requiring 120 runs for victory, with six wickets remaining. Russo and Dawson continued to apply the pressure after tea, as the runs required for victory dipped below 100. But with Hampshire looking comfortable on 252 and with 67 required for victory, Bresnan provided the breakthrough. Russo out caught behind for a vital 47. Four overs later and Bresnan suddenly swung the momentum back in Yorkshire's favour when he removed Dawson for 37. Hampshire six down with 56 still required for victory. Berg joined McManus in the middle and the pair set about the task of reeling in the total. Both men started to find the fence as the game looked to be slipping away from Yorkshire. And so it proved, as Berg and McManus's 58-run partnership guided Hampshire to a mightily impressive victory. It was a huge result for Hampshire after a difficult season last summer, the visitors showing real determination to chase down 320 for victory after conceding a 132-run first innings deficit. Balance's 100 on day one had put the hosts in a comfortable position before six wickets from Ben Code had put Yorkshire in control. But an incredible spell of 7 for 41 from Kyle Abbott dragged Hampshire back into the contest and a real team batting effort on day three saw them home. The perfect start to the new season then for the visitors, with Yorkshire now looking to bounce back against Warwickshire in round two. <laughs>